So today, I am tired as hell, and I think I'm going to film a hair video for partial dreadlocks. I spend a lot of time looking for hair tutorials on the internet because I feel like my hair always looks dumb and I suck at styling it, but when I go on YouTube and look for partial dreadlock styling videos, there's very few. I guess it's probably an uncommon hairstyle, but you'd think the internet would have more to offer since the internet is so wise and infinite. But anyway, I think I'm going to do that today and talk about a whole bunch of grumpy bullshit. So, <laughs> if you're not into grumpy bullshit, but you want to know how I'm about to do my hair, I guess you could just mute this. Um, I have no idea where to start with this, so I'm just going to like go. Uh, obviously, if you have partial dreadlocks, that means that half or some of your hair is dreaded and some is not. So, the first thing you want to do is separate them. Seeing as most people struggle with keeping the dreads and the loose hair separate, I don't really struggle with that per se. Like, I don't. The reason the front half of my hair isn't dreaded and the back half of my hair is dreaded is because I just let my hair dread naturally as it grows out like I just really don't like brushing my hair I really suck at it and my hair gets really thick and tangly at the back and I don't know I've always hated brushing it there since I was a child and when I was little I was just like I can't wait to grow up and be my own person and the first thing I'm gonna do is cut this brushing my hair shit right out of the schedule it's like oh and it happened, you know, as I got older. I don't have to brush my hair anymore. But the front part never dreads. Like, the last time I had dreads, I put a lot of effort into making the front part dreads. So, basically, I guess I should tell you what I'm doing. I'm just making it all smooth and a nice ponytail. I'm pulling the loose hair out of my dreads. We'll probably come back and change this later, but... I like to put this loose hair in, like, a little poof. I don't know what it is about it. I guess it's because when I had no dreads, that's kind of how I styled my hair, so. <laughs> but, yeah, we'll come back to that. We're really just getting it out of the way. So, now that I've got my loose hair out of my dreads, I mean, I still have loose hair, like, underneath in the back here, but it's, like, super hard to separate, so I'm just going to pull it to the side. Oh, Oni. Oni. Cat. She's after my hair ties. Okay. So... Then after everything's kind of separated, I take like this nice big hair tie for my dreads and I'll put them in a ponytail. So now I'm rocking this like crazy multi ponytail like unicorn thing, which is cool because I'm like totally a unicorn. Oh, I was rambling a second ago and I totally lost my train of thought. Oh, but now I'm thinking about cats. I found a cat a couple weeks ago outside and she was super cute and I was feeding her and she's a little skinny, weighty calico girl and she was being super friendly so I took her inside and I got her spayed and I don't know, I don't want to tell this whole story again, especially on this video, it's fucking traumatic really. But she basically, after like a week after she got spayed, she ripped her stitches back open. And I had to take her to the emergency vet. And it was so stressful. And that's like basically all I've been thinking about like all week. Like time doesn't feel real. Like the only thing that matters about time is that I have to give this cat her medication. Like I just don't want anything to happen to her again. So I feel pretty crazed. Also, I'm like, I'm all like red eyed and sleep different i've been sunken like a skeleton that probably has something to do with it but i'm super happy my acne pimple chin went away if you saw my foundation video so that's happy um but yeah i'm tired as hell i'm kind of like making this video right now to like distract myself from all the things that are making me upset but anyway back to my hair which is so exciting like if I was going out for Halloween as a unicorn, I would probably wear my hair something similar to this. This back ponytail is it's something else. But anyway, the next part of my phase is like a cheat here with this 
this bun style. I take this hair donut. I probably should have mentioned that at the beginning. This is the worst hair tutorial ever. This is like just a hair journey where you're just like, let's listen to this dumbass talk and like see what she's doing with her hair. But I take this fancy hair donut, donut and I put it around my luscious pineapple. Oh, I'm talking about food. I love that. A pineapple donut does sound really good though. Like maybe like salted caramel pineapple donut. Whew, I'm the kind of person who puts pineapple on their pizza. Can you tell? And then after I got this hair donut on here, it looks really stupid. I put it over the hair tie. I take another hair tie, but this one's smaller. This is a normal hair tie like normal people use with their normal hair. And then I basically... I can't tell if you can see this. I take all of these dreads and I spread them out like a crazy tarantula spider-legged creature, like a tropical plant. And then I kind of want to spread them out evenly and then I kind of like push them down. This part's kind of tricky actually. And then I'm going to put the hair tie over the top of the dreads and the donut. And you got to scoosh it. You're kind of like rolling the donut up and pinching the dreads around it, making sure they're covering it. You're using like that little donut to like fill the bun and make it look like you have more hair. Obviously if you have long dreads or thick dreads or like, I mean, not everybody needs a hair donut. This is totally unnecessary. But now I have this pretty awesome, crazy big spider leggy bun up here. I've got all this loose hair. I've got all this loose hair. I'll come back to this. I don't know, you could do a lot of things with this. You could braid this. You could twist it all cute. I don't know. You could probably do a lot of things with bobby pins, but I'm pretty lazy. I like my hairstyles to be somewhere between, like, The Cure and an 80-year-old librarian named Dolores. Like, those are my two personalities, I feel like, that are inside of me. There's, like, this really eternally rebellious, like, crabby, frustrated goth that never brushes their hair and they're dirty all the time. And then there's this, like, really nitpicky old lady that's always like, are you really gonna wear that? So, you know, crazy buns are kind of my thing because they marry both those personalities. I feel like in most of my videos I'm like shrinking to the bottom and like rrr, 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 like disappearing but in this video since I tried to like accommodate for that now we've got the opposite effect I'm like disappearing off the top with all my crazy hair but yeah so now we have this like Gibson Girls-esque twist at the front highlighted by my fabulous hairstyle that some of you may have seen me dye in my other videos and then if I was really, like, actually going to leave the house or do something, I'd probably, like, curl these loose hairs around here. Like an old-timey hairstyle. And then I also have this ultimate spider-legged bun. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It's pretty wild. It's pretty good. Sometimes, too... Oh, where is he? Yeah, you got to get these ones. Oh, oh, look what I did. I went crazy. I went too crazy. Nope. We're just going to have to pop that right out. I don't even think I told you guys how I put that in the hair tie. You can just twist it again. Hold it backwards. Find the hair tie where you tucked all the dreads under, basically, and then stick this little tail in there. No one will ever notice him in there because the ponytail is so crazy. And then it kind of connects your little pompadour with your, your bun, so it all looks like one hairstyle. But yeah, I would pull those pieces out if they existed. I might shave those off again. Oh yeah, there we go. This is a little curls. I feel like you're not getting the full effect right now because I wear glasses normally. So maybe I should put my glasses on. 
Meh, you guys know we can probably imagine it. But, that's enough oohing and aahing over this strange hairstyle, I think. Very easy. Two hair ties. Three hair ties if you need one to hold your front hair separate. Ponytail it. Hair down in it. Pinch the dreads around the donut. Like a fat spider. And then whip up something in the front with a spinny, spinny, twisty, twisty and tuck it into the hair tie. And then all of a sudden you look hmm, like you tried and you have luscious hair. And you don't have to think about your life. Ha! <laughs>